Okay, this video is on constructing a third hand probe holder with machine vision. Why would you need such a thing? Classic problem when you're debugging electronics. You've got uh, one hand, of course, holding a scope probe, trying to probe onto a fine pitch circuit board. You got your other hand working onto an oscilloscope or another piece of test equipment to make a measurement. And then you really want to have a third hand to actually touch the computer and actually start a test. Um, obviously, you don't have three hands. Um, so, what I came up with was a jig that looks like this, and it uh, basically has uh, the ability to hold the scope probe in place and then it touches the board by gravity and you can use it to position it onto the board and, and then actually make a measurement. Now uh, if you actually look up in this camera the computer here you can actually see I have a picture of the circuit board so as I move my probe around I can actually really easily drop it onto a circuit board net I want to look at via a test point a, even a small surface mount pad. So um, this actual jig is finding a lot of use in my workshop and I thought I'd share all the details in this video. Okay well here we have it in operation. Uh, we're now looking actually uh, down through the web camera, the machine vision. Uh, you can see that uh, the scope probe is uh, pretty easy to see. Uh, if you want to find a net like a via, uh, you just uh, drop it down in the via and uh, away you go. Pick it up, uh, find the next net that you like to probe, perhaps a uh, surface mount part like this. Uh, put the probe down and uh, it'll just stay there and you can make the measurement and obviously you have some high confidence that you're in the right place because you got that machine vision. So no more staring through a microscope uh, trying to find a net and then uh, desperately trying to uh, start your capturing a scope. Okay so here's the third hand jig. You can see basically it's a long lever and basically that allows the scope probe which is just friction fitted into the wooden fitting to uh, apply the right amount of pressure onto the circuit board make it also really easy actually to, to uh, locate the place where you need to have it. Now, it's got vision. Wow, fancy name. Um, it's a web camera, of course, and uh, some adjustments were made to the lenses on it, so it has the, a near focus rather than the far focus the most uh, web cams are designed for. So I'll go into how that uh, was achieved. Uh, so very simple design, uh, constructed with some uh, copper pipe. Uh, don't try to use plastic pipe, it'll be too light. And then, of course, just some wood uh, that uh, allows a scope probe to be fitted. Uh, obviously, you have to cut the hole to the right size of the scope probes you plan to use. And then uh, and here you can see there's the webcam and there's a whole bunch of wood blocks. You can see I took a couple tries to get this particular camera to, uh, to go exactly where I wanted it. So I took a little bit of experimentation. Okay, some more construction details. You can see that the the feet here and the main arm are actually not parallel. They, uh, there's an angle on it, and that of course is to uh, to lift the head off the uh, off the mat by a couple centimeters, so you can clear the components in the circuit board. Okay, I uh, just zoomed into the web camera portion of it. You can see a black lens there, and below that, of course, is the image sensor. That's uh, the, the web camera, of course. Uh, now, this particular one was originally focused for infinity, which is more suitable for, of course, a web camera. Uh, the lens is, uh, is actually integrated in a little plastic body and they glued it on shut. Uh, but with a little bit of uh, mechanical uh, force it was able to break free and then I was uh, able to refocus this lens so it uh, it actually focuses on the scope probe tip. And uh, this works really well. So you can see this is probably not a very sophisticated web camera. Uh, it was actually the least expensive one that Microsoft made at the time. Hey, right, there you have it. A, uh Third hand scope probe holder with machine vision set me back all of about five dollars. Uh, I'm just going to play uh, some close ups of the uh, details of the probe and some inspirational music uh, in case you uh, would like to look at some of the more details. Um,